Hi everyone and let's talk about the Unity 3D scripting API in this video. So if you're just starting out to make games, virtual reality applications or even augmented reality applications using the Unity 3D game engine, it's a really really good idea to actually uh, get a brief introduction to what the Unity 3D scripting API is. Now, the Unity 3D Scripting API is a collection of namespaces and API stands for Application Programming Interface. It allows two applications to talk to each other and the way I like to think of an API is basically it's prepackaged code that your code can talk to. And a namespace is a collection of classes, events, enumerations, delegates, interfaces, etc. that handle a specific task each. Now, the three most common namespaces are Unity Engine namespace, which is a collection of pre-built classes, events, interfaces that allow us to work with the Unity 3D engine. So basically, using the Unity 3D engine namespace, you can work with the inbuilt particle system, physics system, the animation system, the UI system, audio module. So you can use all these great uh, inbuilt systems and modules without having to write them from scratch using the Unity Engine namespace. And number two, we have the Unity Editor namespace. Now, the Unity Editor namespace is a collection of pre-built classes, events, structures, delegates, enumerations, etc. that allow us to extend the functionality of the Unity 3D Editor. So basically, we can extend the functionality of the Unity 3D Editor and maybe make our own custom inspector window using the Unity Editor namespace. And lastly, we have at number three, the system namespace. Now, this is part of the .NET framework, which is used behind the scenes by the Unity 3D game engine. So it's a collection of events, interfaces, delegates, structures, enumerations, etc. that allow us to use common data structures, for example, dictionaries, stacks, queues, lists, and so on. And basically, number four should not be here. Now, think of namespaces like containers for classes, and we can access all these, all the classes of the namespaces in our script. Now, if you're a complete newbie and you're completely like confused and lost, practically, just remember that your Unity 3D, like your script will 95% of the time look like this. So whenever you make a new script in Unity 3D, it will look like this. And using the using keyword, we've imported the Unity engine namespace and the system namespace right at the top of our code. Now that we have these namespaces here, we can use all the cool things that Unity 3D provides for us. So we don't have to write everything from scratch. For example, you don't have to write your own gravity system, write your own physics system. It's already provided by Unity 3D Game Engine. And that's all for this video. It's a brief introduction to the Unity 3D scripting API. And moving on, we will learn more about C Sharp. 